What's up guys? Welcome back to another Simply Pete video. And in this video, I will be showing you guys the most cheapest deck versus the most expensive deck. And this is a friendly battle between me and the Almighty Bro from Seven Legends. So I have the cheapest deck while he has the most expensive deck. So I start off with um, six minions and three skeletons with one ice spirit push. It didn't really work out well since he, since he did place three musketeers. Although he only has level two because he doesn't use it and there's no point upgrading it if he doesn't use it. So I put some spirit goblins, distract that. I zap it, level two is still have much health so zapping is very good. Then now those goblins are doing a little bit of little bit of damage. And now is what I hated the most when he places a golem. Because no matter what land troop I put, the golem explosion will kill it. And watch this, okay? And he makes it even worse by mirroring the golem. So now he has two golems. But the good thing is I did carry minions. So they will be unaffected by the golem splash. The only problem is that golem still did quite a lot of damage. So I mirrored my minions to do more damage. I throw that golemite and he lightning my minions for some reason. Now, right here is where I did a lot of damage and yeah, I did a lot of damage right here. Those three skeletons distracted that tower long enough on my spirit goblin to do about a hundred more damage. Now I'm gonna do the six minions and six minions, two goblins push, I believe. Okay, yeah, so I mirror that. Oh, no, I place an ice spirit. And then he places a royal giant, but this is where I got his tower, so I I wasn't exactly worried. All I have to do is place goblins and spear goblins. The only problem was he did place three musketeers, which was really bad. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some fire spears and zap the three musketeers. And that royal giant only got one hit off my tower, but the, my fire spears are level 8. It easily killed those. Now he places a barbarian hunt, but I started the attack from the other side. The same strategy I've done before, mirror my minion horn, but this time since it's double elixir, I did have quite a lot of things there. So this one push almost got his tower. It would have gotten his tower if he didn't rock it. But now what I did is I zapped his tower, so that spear goblin right there destroyed his tower. There's 20 seconds left, and he finally places his P.E.K.K.A. But it's already too late, because number one, I could easily distract it, but I was going for the three star, and I have this huge push coming. I place goblins, now I'm gonna zap that tower, and I barely managed to get that. See, there's almost one second left, and he just got my tower. So, what does this tell you guys? The cheapest deck is better than the most expensive deck. Which also means commons are kind all commons is better than all rares and epics because that's what the most expensive deck is. Only the royal giant, in, I think, is, that's the only one that's a common. So yeah, that will be the end of this video. And please remember to like and subscribe for more videos.